my first job out of law school was staffing a committee at the Arizona legislature that dealt with welfare reform. It really became my passion to try and intervene wherever I could um, in any way possible to try and be a voice for, for women that did not have a voice in the process. Advocacy to me means having a voice and it's important for women to feel like they have a voice in our government and it's important for us to be visible at the Capitol. And I do think we've reached a critical mass uh, where things have been really cut to the bone. We've maximized all the efficiencies that we can. And I really feel like we're going to turn the corner and have policymakers recommit. But really, the nonprofit and faith based sectors have been involved in our safety net. They were the safety net in the beginning. Actually, government is a latecomer. I think something that I'm really proud of at the foundation is the work that we've done. She Counts stands for Safety, Health, and Economic Security for Arizona Women. We uh, and our partners in the She Counts Coalition would like to see a very purposeful, intentional focus on women among policymakers. So we're going to make our voice louder. It's just a, an important statement that we believe that women count. And the Status of Women report that we've published twice now at the Arizona Foundation for Women. It really shows where Arizona is at um, with regard to women ranked against other states, and I think that's so important. I think the Y, as one of the oldest organizations focusing on women, I know they're an incredible partner uh, to the Foundation for Women. I really think it's incumbent upon us as women to reach out, uh, support each other, and help one another. I think we can encourage our girls to just continue to forge on, um, to stand on the shoulders of the folks who came before them, and really fight for what's right.